Hello, I'm going to show you how to peer VPCs today. These VPCs that were compared together exist in separate AWS accounts. So here's the diagram with the three VPCs. There's a production VPC, a development VPC, and a management VPC. And again, they exist on separate AWS accounts. Uh, we've already created this in another video, video, the VPC video. And just to review, I'm going to go through all the accounts now to show you the VPCs. Here's the development VPC on the dev account right there. Okay, uh, we'll switch over to the production account now. And there's another VPC that exists there. And then also the management account. And there's another VPC that also exists there. Okay, so we're gonna peer them together in this video. Uh, to do that, we we'll just go down to the VPC blueprint right here. And you can open that up. Uh, and go to it right there. And there are <clears throat> essentially three steps we have to do in order to peer the VPCs. It's listed right here. <clears throat> there's actually three different templates with this because since the VPC is in a separate account, we actually have to run the commands, three different kind of commands and, and, and use through different templates, okay? The steps are right here. The first thing we have to do is we have to create IMA role permissions in the management account. So in this account right here, up here, you actually have to create uh, IMA roles, one for production and one for development. So it has access and permission to uh, basically create the VPC peering connection, okay? Uh, so that's the first step we'll run. The second step we'll run is basically pure on the development and production side, all right? So basically we're gonna run basically another uh, stack here or we'll build another stack here that will create the peering connections as well as the route tables actually, and also the peering connections on the development side, okay? Then finally, the last step we'll do is we'll peer on the management side. So essentially we just have to complete the routes on the management side to complete the peering connections. For VPC peering to work, you need connections based, uh, you need basically need route table entries on both VPC sides, and it needs to be routed from basically the management to production and production to management to complete that peering connection, and also from management to development and development to management to complete that peering connection, okay? All right, so that's uh, kind of gives you a high level explanation of what we're gonna do. Let's just jump right into it now. So first step is to create the VPC peer roles. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab this command right here and basically create the configuration files for um, the uh, the first uh, step. So you go Lono EMB management, Lono C VPC peer. And what that's gonna do is create some starter files. We can go in here and look at the starter files that I created. It created basically a variables file here, okay? So uh, this uh, template makes use of variable files, okay? And we need basically account IDs here. So we need the account ID for development and production because what we're gonna do is, and I'm gonna go back to this diagram, in this management account, because we did loan at EMV management, we're gonna create two IMA roles. So then production and development has access to create the peering connections, okay? So let's go ahead and grab the uh, account IDs because those are just uh, uh, placeholders essentially. So I can move this down here maybe, and then just run that command. This is a, a nice command to grab the, e it's an easy way to grab the AWS account ID. So uh, I just grabbed it for dev. Now I'm gonna grab it for uh, production right here. So I run the same command and grab that variable or the account ID right there. Okay, so that's all we have to do right now. There are some other variables here, but this is actually for step three. So we're not, we're not gonna uh, do that step now. We're gonna do that later, okay? So uh, that is the first step. Let's go back to uh, the readme here. Now we're essentially ready to deploy, okay? So we can grab the deploy command. And this deploy command is a little bit longer than uh, the other videos because <clears throat> this template actually makes use of, um, let me actually just put it up here makes use of uh, multiple templates. Uh, in Blueprints and Lono, you, you usually name the Blueprint to be the same name as the, uh, the template, so then you don't have to actually explicitly specify the template name. But since this it requires peering across multiple accounts, uh, by design needs to have actually multiple templates. Okay, so I, I, I'll, sh I'll show you that briefly. Uh, you go to uh, VPC peer here, and you go to app templates, you'll see there's a VPC peer template and a VPC roles and management. So the one we basically ran was VPC peers role. And you can kind of see the command here. On the management account, we basically deploy uh, the stack name, VPC peer roles. We use the VPC blueprint, which is this guy right here. And then we uh, use the template VPC peer roles, which is down there, okay? So uh, this actually requires different templates here. So that's all been built already. Uh, so let's see where it is uh, right now uh, in terms of the stack deployment. We got a refresher to see the stack is already done completing and created uh, the roles already. And here, I'm just looking at the timestamps, 27, 28. Creating the roles is, is pretty quick. And you can see the two uh, roles right here. I'll expand it and make it a little easier to read. Okay, we're gonna be using those roles later, 
uh, when we uh, deploy the VPC peering connections on both the development and production account, right? So now we kind of have that step done. Let's move on to the next step. So here's the next step, VPC peer. So this is when we basically are going to create the peering connection on the development account as well as the production account. And this diagram helps again. So we're going to, we created the IMA rows here. Now we're gonna basically, we use those IMA rows to basically create the peering connection from the production to development uh, to management and also from development to management. This uh, second step actually also creates the route table. So we're gonna actually have to configure those too. So let's grab what we need and start configuring. Um, let's go back to the readme. So right here, as you're saying, we have to run the load C, no the load no C commands here to kind of generate the starter configs. So I'm gonna go ahead and run both of those right now. So I'm running for development now and running for production and it's creating the, the starter kind of for parameter files as well as the variable files. So let's kind of go ahead and take a start taking a look at this. Okay, let's look at parameters first. And you see parameters here. Let me kind of uh, organize this a little bit. Parameters development and parameters production right here. I just kind of maybe do a side by side. Hmm. Let's do the top to top to bottom because it's kind of long. Okay, so now we need the account, the scepter account ID. So this is the management account. We had run this caller ID call earlier for on development production. Let's run it for management now. MGT. So we can grab the management account ID because we need this. We need to know what what account has the I new rows that we created. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, requester route outsider. So this is basically going to be used to create the route uh, route to from production to management or development to um, to management. And it basically is like what's the cider range of the management VPC, and that is uh, that's actually the one that we need. So we're good. And now the roles. So we this is the roles that we created in step one. So let's go ahead and go to step one, or actually the management this uh, this cloud formation stack right here VPC P, VPC pure roles. That's the first stack we deployed. Okay. On the outputs here, see, we can grab now the roles that are created because we need to use that for this next step. Okay, um, let's go back here. This is development, so I just need to grab this guy. Paste it over there. Okay, so that's the de uh, development one. And now let's go ahead and do the production one. Okay, or else the these other accounts will have access to it here. Um, okay, let's go to production here and paste this in. And I need to actually go fix the acceptor account ID also here, so I'm going to do that. And the side route out looks good. <clears throat> so we need a couple more parameter values. So we need the scepter VPC and the requester VPC. And it says right in the comment, the scepter VPC is the management VPC. It's the thing that's going to accept the connection. Okay. So we just go grab the VPC value. The easy ways, the easiest way to do that is just from the outputs here. And grab basically the VPC value right there. And now we can go ahead and paste this in. And we I might as well just go ahead and do it for production here. It's the same as scepter. A VPC. Okay. Um, now we need the development VPC, and then we uh, then we need the um, production VPC. Okay. So this is the development, and this is production. All right. So let's go and grab those outputs now. I got switch accounts. So let's go to Dev first. Grab the VPC outputs right here, and there's the development VPC. Okay. Let's go here and paste that guy in here. Okay. And last is the production VPC. So we got switch accounts again. VPC, outputs, uh, production VPC. And that will complete all the parameters. Now we have parameters set, but when we ran Lono C for this step two here, it actually generates some variables files here too. So let's go look, take a look at that because we need to configure the variables also. Uh, oops. So let's, uh, this is development. I'm going to close the other ones off. And this is production and move this down here. Okay. So uh, we need actually make use of variable. This template makes use of variables. So we actually need to fill out these variables. So we need to all the request or route, ta uh, route tables. So this is for development here. And this is for production down here. So let's go ahead and grab them from again, the output. So I'm gonna start with production because I'm already on it. So I'm gonna grab all the route tables. I'm gonna pure all the route tables on the production VPC. Okay. And that is all of production route tables right there. And then I'm gonna switch over the dev account. And also grab all the route tables there once I go to the outputs here. Okay, here are all the development VPC route tables. So we're gonna kind of create a uh, route out of this. Okay, so that is done there. So that's takes care of all the uh, variables uh, and we are taking care of the parameters. So let's just go see what's the next step is on the readme. Okay, so you basically ran lono C that generates some config files here 
basically parameters as well as variables. We uh, configured essentially all of them already, uh, the parameters as well as the development. Uh, and then here are some screenshots showing you kind of how to grab that values, which I just did. And now we're uh, now we're ready to deploy. So I could actually run these two commands now. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna close this down now and close this down also. And now I'm gonna run Alono development CFN deploy VPC pure ensure no wait and I'm gonna also do it for production okay so that's uh that's starting now I'll show you the stack that has uh, been created now here's development VPC pure okay uh, and it is starting to create and then I'll show you to for production I'll show it for you for production also and here's production okay so creating uh, VPC pure connections takes actually a couple minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video so you all don't have to wait Okay, so the VPC peering uh, stack has finished complete, uh, has finished deploying. We can see how long it took right here. Uh, it started at 12.34 here, and it finished at 12.38. So yeah, it took a couple minutes to create the peering connections. Um, so there's the peering connection. I also created, like I said, some routes. Uh, let's check for development first, and then let's review kind of where we're at right now by looking at the uh, architecture diagram. Uh, so looking at the basically dev account now, that's also done. Also took again a couple minutes, 34 there, and finished at 38. Okay, so what we created, let's go back to the diagram. What we created is we created basically peer connections uh, from creating the connection from production to management. We also created peer connections from development to management, and we also created routes from production routing back to management, and also from development routing back to management. And I'll I'll show you the routes uh, real quickly just to review. So if we go from VPC and you kind of scope it to uh, development here and click on sub, uh, not submits, but route tables. In any of these route tables, you'll see that it's routing now basically that side of range back through the peer and connection on all of them. Uh, and it, we can just for good measure check production also. Production has kind of similar thing. Route tables, click on any of these route tables and it's basically routing uh, back to the management uh, uh, VPC there through the peer and connection that we created. This is very error prone to do manually. Uh, so um, this is, is something that, that code is really helpful to do. Okay, so let's go back now to the readme. So going back to the readme, we basically just deployed uh, step two, which is creating the peering connection from both the development and production side. Now the last step is basically creating the routes from the management back to these two VPCs, the production and the development VPCs. And to do that, we will we'll do basically the same steps. We'll configure uh, some uh, variables here, and then we'll basically do a deploy. And this readme is just showing, okay, here are the variables we need to configure, here's where you can grab the values for the variables, and here's the deploy command. So let's go ahead and go do that. So, and I'm going back to the variables here in management. So this is uh, the variables file that we've actually already used before. Let's kind of refresh this, so sometimes Cloud9 does that. Okay, all right, so now we just have to create the peering connections. And so, like I said, we weren't gonna use this until step three, because the peering connections didn't exist at the time, now they do. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the CloudFormation um, outputs here on VPC uh, peer. Click on outputs and you can see the VPC peering connection right there. So I'm gonna grab that, okay, and paste that in there. Okay, that's the first one. Side range, that is actually the development range, so we're good, and that's the production range, so we're good. So all we really need is the peering connections. Oh, oops, I grabbed the production one. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. That's production. Okay, and then let's go ahead and go to development and then grab the same peering connection, or the development peering connection. Outputs here, and then go back to here and add that. Okay, so the last thing we need is all the routes in the management or routes table. So do that, we're gonna, we're gonna switch over to the management account and grab the VPC outputs that, that has all the routes table also. So just go here, grab all the routes from here, and paste in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this deploy and then uh, explain. Okay, so let's go down here and grab the deploy command. The, those screenshots are showing exactly what I just did. Okay, and then we're gonna go to deploy this. Okay, so go ahead and run that. So I'm running this on the Lono EMV management account here. It's going Lono CFN deploy and I'm just naming the stack VPC peer routes and I'm using the VPC blueprint, but it's a, a specific template, the management routes template here. And then here's just the sure no way off option. So it can kind of go in parallel. Okay, so uh, what this command does is, let's go back to the diagram, is we've basically have done everything is that we need to create the routes on the management um, VPC back to production as well as back to development. 
So it basically loops through these two accounts and basically create the routes back to these uh, these different VPCs on different accounts, okay? Let's go look at the stack uh, and see where it is right now. So we can refresh this. You can see the routes is actually already completed. So that's already done. And basically see how it has all these kind of routes, you know, production, development, all that. And does it tries to do it as parallel as much as possible. Okay, so let's actually just take a quick look at those routes. And then the, you'll see, um, so route tables here. And you can see, I just click on any of these routes and you click on routes. And you notice that there's, look, there's not just one route uh, there's two, one for development in the side of range and one for the production side of range. And this goes back to the peer connections that we configured in the variables. Okay. So let's really quickly review what we did. Okay. Oh, uh, cause we're at the end of it now. Um, okay. That's a readme. Let's go back to the main architecture diagram again. So what we did was, oh, step one was we created the, uh, IMA roles. Uh, we need permission because these VPCs are across different accounts. We need permission from, to let production and development to create peering connection into management. And then management is the one that accepted it. Okay. And then, um, we, uh, step two was we created basically a peering connection on the production development side. All right. So that basically created the peering connection and we created some routes here at Tilt. All right. But to complete peering, you need routes on both sides. So then the last step was we create routes on the management side back to production as well as back to development. Okay. So that's pretty much VPC peering. Uh, it's pretty straightforward once you kind of get it and you, once you've done it. Um, but essentially it's a pretty error prone without code, I feel. Uh, so uh, I, I feel code helps with that a lot. Uh, and peering, the VPC is just basically now, it's gonna allow basically production management to behave as one logical network. So that's kind of like one internal network there kind of, and also management and, and development. But production and, and and development, we didn't peer those. So VPC and peer is not transitive. So these are completely isolated. Only management kind of has access to kind of production as well as development. In addition, I want to cover one last thing. All because the peer connections exist doesn't mean you actually have access. You still have the uh, security groups that you need to set up and allow access. In another video, I'll cover basically how to test all this by basically launching instances and basically connecting uh, from one basically network to another network all internally, okay? But that basically covers VPC peering. Okay, hopefully you found this helpful. Cheers.